All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this very short video, we are going to talk about a theorem known as the third angles theorem, third angles theorem. And this is going to kind of prep us as we're getting closer and closer into our triangle proofs. The third angles theorem, what does it tell us? Well, it says, hey, if we've got two triangles and one pair of angles and two triangles are congruent and a second pair of angles are congruent, the only way this works is if the third angle is also congruent, right? It only makes sense. Let me put a little bit of value into each of these real quick. Let's say, okay, let's just, let's just make some, some values here for a sec. Let's go ahead and say that this angle measure has a value of 60, which means this one has a value of 60 as well too. And let's go ahead and say this has a value of, I don't know, 100, and this value has a value of 100 then, of course. So why does this proof come into play? Now, this is a very informal way to prove this, but think about it, okay? Triangle sum theorem tells us that all angles add to 180. All right, well, if that was the case, then 180 minus 60 minus 100 ended up giving us 100, or it gives 20 degrees. All right, we have 20 degrees left on over. And it was the exact same scenario in both those triangles. So it's kind of a common sense theorem, but that's the very generic way to prove it. So let's do a real quick identifier of how we can go ahead and, and put this into practice here. So we're going to do a, a multiple choice question. And it says, find the measure of angle BDC. So right in here, we want to find BDC. So this whole angle that we are dealing with. All right. Well, what do we know? We know for sure by the third angles theorem, okay, that <clears throat> what's left on over will be congruent. And this is important because if you see, I'm going to kind of pull apart triangle ACD. Triangle ACD has an angle of 45, an angle of 30, and then whatever is left over here. But what's interesting is that whatever is left over here is also congruent to the angle that we are trying to discuss. So if I know what this angle is, third angles theorem says this one will be congruent as well too. And so basically we're trying to say, hey, 180 minus 45 and 30 together are 75. So minus 75 ends up being a 105. And that is an application of our third angles theorem. In our next videos, we will look at how to introduce them into mathematical proof.